What's up, YouTube, everybody? SD General back again. With the recent influx of new players to the Operation Trebuchet community, I decided now would be a good time to make an introduction to Optre and Arma video to help newer players get started. Arma is a very open-ended game that gives a lot of freedom to players, but that can also make it very daunting when trying to figure out where to start. So, this video will hopefully help answer the most common questions newer players just getting started would have about the game. To make things easier, I suggest you use the link in the description below to go to my mod list, which has links to most mods and missions related to Operation Trebuchet. Let's start by talking about what Operation Trebuchet actually is. Operation Trebuchet is a mod that covers the UNSC versus Insurrection era of Halo or Human versus Human conflict. It features units, vehicles, as well as various props from not just the Halo games, but concept art, books, and other sources. Optray is supplemented by First Contact, an official expansion to Operation Trebuchet. It features things like the Covenant, Forerunners, and human equipment from after contact with the Covenant, like the Halo 3 Marine Armor. Neither Operation Trebuchet or First Contact require paid DLC, however they both do require one additional mod called Community Based Add-ons in order to run. In addition to the main mods, there are official public development builds which feature a sneak peek at new work in progress assets which are play ready but not ready for a full release. Lastly, there are many side mods created by the community which use Operation Trebuchet as a base for things like new textures, weapons, and more. Now that I've talked about what Operation Trebuchet is, let's talk about where you guys can get it. For users of Steam, downloading Operation Trebuchet and its related mods is pretty easy. Simply go to Arma 3 in your Steam library, click Workshop, and then search for the mod you want to install. Open the correct one and hit subscribe. Alternatively, you can go to sites like armaholic.com, search for Operation Trebuchet, and download a manually installable copy there. Armaholic mods are often not uploaded or maintained by developers, so you may be unable to find some mods through this method, or they may be out of date. If you are downloading from Armaholic, scroll down to the bottom and click download. Alternatively, sites like ModDB will also include links. With the mod downloaded, open the file, and you should have a folder that says something like at Optray, for example. Install this file into your main Arma 3 folder. Okay. So now that you have the mods downloaded, let's go ahead and talk about installing them. The first thing you need to do is open Arma 3. You will then get a launcher that pops up. Go down to Mods on the left side. Then click the check mark to activate the mods you want to use. If you are using a mod installed from Steam, the launcher will prompt you to load any extra required mods if those mods are also on Steam as well, and the creator has listed those as dependencies. Once again, things are a bit more complicated with the manual download we got from Armaholic. Like previously, you will need to open the launcher. However, now you will need to manually add the mod to the launcher. Do this by clicking local mod near the top of the launcher. Go to your Arma 3 folder where you installed your at folder. Click the mod you wish to add and hit select folder. Now you can activate it using the checkbox. Mods activated this way will not prompt for dependencies like Steam, so make sure you have all the required mods loaded. Click play with mods and wait for the game to launch. You should now be in game. You will likely have some errors pop up. This is fairly common when it comes to playing Arma with mods. Just close them and it should be fine. Okay, so for this next part I am going to assume you haven't played Arma yet and you will want to become familiar with the gameplay and the new assets. The best way to do this is through Arma 3's showcases and Eden Editor. Go to single player, 
and click Showcases to check out some Arma missions to become familiar with many of the core gameplay elements of Arma. Now, let's check out Eden. Go to Single Player, and then Editor, then select whatever map you wish to play on. Once again, you may have errors pop up here. Just go ahead and close them out. It should be fine. Eden can get pretty advanced if you needed to, but for the sake of this video, I am going to show you how to place down and use a unit. To make our Halo assets easier to find, I am going to filter assets by mod and select Operation Trebuchet. I am then going to place down a unit, then change its loadout by right clicking it and selecting Edit Loadout. As I stated a moment ago, you can get very in-depth with mission editing, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to launch the editor by clicking Play Scenario. You may now be looking to play some campaigns or missions. Sadly, Operation Trebuchet doesn't come with any missions by default. However, going back to the workshop, you will find plenty of missions. The same as before, click subscribe. For most of these, you will not need to activate them. Instead, you will simply launch the game, and depending on the mission, it will typically be located either under scenarios, or you will need to host a multiplayer mission and select the correct map. Just bear in mind that since Optray is still in development, sometimes missions are not always compatible with the current release of the mod. Finally, now that you have the mod downloaded, installed, and you have learned the basics of play, some of you are going to want to play with more people. Unfortunately, if you are looking for a pure casual experience, you may find yourself disappointed here. While there are public servers from time to time, over the last several years they have generally been unavailable or have fairly small player bases. This means it will likely be difficult to find a random open game that you can join with little effort or commitments. Though, as I said, sometimes they do exist, so it may be worth checking into. If you are looking for guaranteed people to play with, a Milsim community is the way to go. For many, their first thoughts at these words is some 15-year-old calling himself General. <coughs> Making you do push-ups for the sake of realism. And yes, there are groups and people out there that are like that. But the Milsim community comes in all shapes and sizes, and it is 100% worth looking into for the best gameplay experience, in my opinion. You can look for recruiting Milsim groups on the Optray Reddit page, or you can go to UNSC HiCom Discord server, where a number of different clans and units have come together in a nice manner to recruit people. I personally suggest seeing if you can sit in on any training or mission to get an idea of how the group actually operates and see if it will be a good fit for you. Most units are pretty open to this, I find, so just go ahead and ask them and see if it's okay. Now, if you want to try and see if a server is up, click Multiplayer, Server Browser, go to Internet, click Filter near the bottom, and then type in your keywords. This might take a few tries, or some guessing, but for this video let's try searching Optray as the host name and see what comes up. This can take several minutes as Arma searches through over a thousand different servers. When you do find a game, you will likely have a red X next to the game. This means your game isn't compatible and it's likely you will be unable to join because of this. Usually, in order to fix this, you will need to click on the server and check the expansions list on the bottom right to see if they are running any additional mods on the server. If they are, you will need to search for those mods and install them using the steps I listed earlier in order to play online. Alternatively, you could have extra mods that they do not allow, so make sure to keep an eye out for that as well. Hopefully, this answered your most burning questions and helps get many of you on the path to playing Arma successfully. But, Arma is a big game, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to join my Discord, or check out the Operation Trebuchet Discord, the links for both of which are down below. 
or just ask your questions here and I will do my best to answer them. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you watched to the end, that is much appreciated. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of news on Operation Trebuchet specifically. I do play other Halo content and some firefighting stuff if you're into that sort of thing as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Take it easy.